Beautiful blue sky, light breeze through the trees. Let me get into some shadows here. So I was driving around last night exploring the acreage and I gotta say I came across something super sweet. I knew there would have to be a water source for the ponds that were nearby. And I found it. Well, I didn't find the source, but I found something late last night. And you guys are gonna love it. Every moment of it. You ready? Look at this. Dun, dun. What you were looking at is a mossy creek that runs downhill. I'm on a slope, hard to tell, but actually everything's running down and running across. This is a nice wide, shallow creek. Look at all the beautiful moss down here. Little waterfalls. All right. Up into here. Some sunlight, the log, and it just keeps going up that way and then way down here. I know guys, I'm also speechless too. I've been speechless for several days while I've been here. And it just keeps going. I love that it's all moss covered, lush sphagnum moss. Beautiful, a great place for trailing. You might ask, where's Morris? <laughs> Morris hasn't discovered this place yet. He's gonna discover it later on today while we go crawling, him and I do some father-son time. Um, but first and foremost, I wanted to log on here, do a quick video for everybody, and to send a thank you out to everyone. Something that is from me to you, to all the people that have been sticking by me throughout all the hard times over the last several years, and to come to the table and say, I'm sorry that I had to give you guys a bit of a break. Um, I literally never took a break in 13 years of producing, and I don't want to beat that horse to death, so to speak. Um, but every holiday, every time I went away, everything always had a camera on. And so I really had felt like I had told my story as much as possible. And now you'll see I also had other plans in the background going on which is gonna take a lot of time and dedication on my part and on my wife's part, and of course, understanding from my son uh, for us to get the ranch, the old ranch together, uh, try to get ready to sell that, sell off the RCs, uh, as many of them as I could, and keep the ones that I really wanted, which you guys will be seeing uh, soon. Uh, and then of course, find a new place to live all the way across the country during a, a pandemic uh, and major massive restrictions from the government uh, saying goodbye to our friends and family and then, you know, making a massive move for clearly you can see the difference. The other thing I want to touch on because I've always been very honest about my health and people have been asking me about my health and in fact, those that have watched the channel for a while knows about a year ago I gave away Big Blue, my big Ford F-150 uh, to my buddy Steve and everyone thought, oh my god, Medic is gonna, you know, if something's wrong he's gonna die and I wasn't actually, there was nothing uh, going on with that other than just good fortune and trying to pay it forward to someone who had also helped me in my life when I was young. And you can't make it in your life without other people, the help of other people. Granted, you can do it on your own, but it's a very different life. Without your support during this entire time, my wife and I wouldn't be in this position where we get to work on our dreams and opportunities. Yes, we've done our own investments and things throughout the years to help us get here and, and the work, but it really has been as a community for us to say thank you and to open up our lives and to share it with you guys, especially because of all the inspirational messages that we received while we were away. Um, so thank you. So I think the best way for me to say thank you and to move forward right now is to get out overkill for those that understand the significance of that and uh, do a little creek crawling right now. Let's explore. If I only had the Tamaya Tundra for those that have been following along that many years, hey? A lot of you must have questions on which RCs I actually have left. And uh, you'll be finding out soon enough. Or you can leave the comments down below. I'm always happy to review them and see if I can answer. This is my first crawl here, guys. Camera in hand, how appropriate. All 
I remember when I first started RC Adventures in a place called Fish Creek Park. No one really had trucks like this. That's where I took my black tundra. It had red LED lights in the bumper. I, I actually fashioned it um, after Knight Rider. Because as a kid, when I was young in the 80s, Knight Rider, the car, was like all the rage. And they also had Nighthawk, which was uh, a motorcycle, black motorcycle. And they also had Airwolf, which was a black and white helicopter. But they never had like this cool black truck. So I, I made the, the, the Tundra. And that was one of the first RC trucks that was a scale truck ever seen to go in water. And people were astounded that I was able to waterproof it. And then came overkill. I remember doing so much work back in the day with the uh, Axial Honcho. Who here has been here long enough to remember the Axial Honcho build I did of the Beast One? That was years and years ago. And in fact, that was the first real build that was done on YouTube of the Honcho. Oh, there we go. That's why she's a tough truck. Got a little, little water on the lens. Did so much promotions work back with Axial when they were actually an independent company. Greg Tanaguchi was the marketing director, then Vanessa Ta was the marketing director. And uh, while it was still an independent company, that's how we had RC Sparks on the uh, sticker sheet of the Axial Honcho back in the day. What a gorgeous shot, hey? You used to get an RC Spark sticker. A lot of people ask me for stickers now, but I don't even have a sticker guy right now. That's okay. I'll get settled in, don't worry. I'm more focused on getting out on the trails, especially with Morris and seeing what's around here, having fun. Get Jem out here with Pinky. Yeah, we still have Pinky and Overkill. Optimus, of course. I'm loving this, 100% loving this. Yes, I absolutely miss my friends. Steve, Crazy Joe, Pookie, Lyle, all the guys, Tyler. Matt, you know who you are. All the guys back home. And the gals, of course. Everett, brother, I miss you every day, buddy. I know I'll see you out here one day. Everett's got a baby right now, baby William he's contending with, as well as his other, <laughs> Emmy. That's a handful to have one kid, let alone two. I know there's some families out there that have way more than that, and I commend you guys. That is a lot of RCs to maintain. Err, I know you guys would love to be out here with me right now. We'll get visitors, I know we will. The story I never told the public when I was doing RC Adventures was, for years I did, a, did the show at a place called Fish Creek in Alberta, which was a provincial park inside the city. Oh, nice. And uh, after years of doing the show and, you know, doing TTC there back in 2011 and a bunch of other really cool videos, including the Tundra video and a, and a bunch of others, including my original Overkill videos, you know, being told by a on conservation officer that I wasn't allowed to be there anymore uh, was a shock and, uh, and a big, big bummer for the show. Now I did have the ranch at that time and I thought there's got to be some way I can get to a beautiful area where, you know, I can understand where it's very overpopulated and they don't want RCs in a provincial park like that. But I needed to find a place where I could openly do the show, really explore the hobby the way I wanted to without the limitations of laws like that holding me back. And I've always believed in tread lightly and leave the world a better place, a little better than 
when you came here. You know, I wish, I wish more people would do that. <clears throat> Let's see if I can work my way out here. Yep. There's secrets to building a tough truck, my friends. Especially if you go into competitions. And I had 10 years of filming tough truck competitions and building them. Oh yeah! An overkill is definitely one of my favorite builds ever done.